Number six, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species connect as a Bronsted-Lowry base. And then we have letter B out of the bunch. So in this case, we have PO4, 3 minus. We might know this one, right? This is phosphate. We've probably seen these many a time throughout our chemistry journey. It's much easier to memorize your polyatomics, guys, I promise you. So this is one polyatomic that you'll never, you know, it will never leave you. Phosphate is pretty common. But all we got to show is that this phosphate ion is going to act as a Bronsted-Lowry base. Now, side note, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists back in the day who independently oh, worked on this idea of acids and bases, and they both came up with the same conclusion, in which bases will always accept protons. Proton is the same thing as H+. Plus, or it's also the same thing as saying hydronium. Now, sometimes you might see hydronium as H3O+, plus. just know that H3O+, plus and H+, plus, tomato, tomato. So you'll see me sometimes throughout this whole channel, not this whole channel, this whole chapter, uh, I'll be going with H+, plus, and sometimes I'll be doing H3O+, plus. it just depends on the situation, but they mean the same thing. In this case, we're gonna be working with H+, plus because it's easier. Now remember, the uh, base is going to take the H+, plus, and remember, the acid is the one that donates it. So you get the H+, plus, you get the hydronium ion from acids. And I also know that this is a base because I have no hydrogens. So how can I donate a hydrogen? I can only accept. So my base plus my hydronium ion, my H+. Plus. That's how I show that they're coming together. They're accepting one another. So they're very loving. PO4, 3 minus, plus H+. Plus. Anytime that you have a charged molecule or an ion, basically, that's what it is, in aqueous, uh, in a net ionic equation, it's always going to be aqueous. And since we're dealing with acids and bases, they're also in water, aka aqueous. Now, since phosphate ion, the PL4-3- is not on our list of the six strong bases, I will write a yield sign that's an equilibrium sign. Um, just remember your six strong bases, guys, because they're going to be coming up soon, probably in the next uh, section of this chapter, I would say. And now we just got to find out the conjugate acid. Well, just add them all up, right? Just know that if you are writing your acid, the H that you gained generally is going to come first. So I'm going to say that, okay, now I have an H. The H came with the PO4, so it's just going to be H, PO4. You gained one hydrogen. Now I just have to plus one from the overall charge. From my original phosphate, I did have a three minus charge. So when I come over here, I say, okay, I had a three minus charge, but now since I gained a hydrogen, or a proton or a hydronium ion, I have to add one. Negative three plus one is negative two. And this is the conjugate acid, so AQ. And that's your final answer. This is your net ionic equation, just showing you that phosphate can act as a base, Bronsted-Lowry base, and that's it. And maybe if I can, I'll just say, okay, this was the hydrogen, so red and red. And there you go. Hopefully that's helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for that. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers at the moment, which is absolutely insane. My brother and I are so appreciative of you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And let's keep, let's keep working hard. Okay, bye-bye.